Fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah. The, the best, the best live band I've seen for 12 years. Yeah. Last, the last good band I've seen was uh, Biohazard. We've done uh, 14 years ago, we've done 48 shows in America, and Biohazard and Typo Negative were our support band. Okay. Right? And at, at that time, Biohazard were one of the best live bands I've, I've seen. Yeah. But last night, uh, that, what they the called? The Norwegian? Uh, Purifying Blood. Purifying Blood. Like, they were the, the best live band I've seen since the last 13, 14 years. Really, yeah, really good. Really real good. Down really, to the bone. Uh, at, first, at first, I thought they were a bit like uh, a young agnostic front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, oh no, shut my eyes, agnostic front. <laughs> good. Uh, vi er her med Crap TV backstage med Watty fra Exploited, og uh, vi har lyst til å vite litt. Uh, we want to know uh, a little bit more about the band. The band? Well, we started the band uh, a long time ago, it's 19, uh, 1980. Hi, Dad! Yeah! Mom, you're a cunt, sorry. <laughs> That's yes. I uh, st started the band, uh, started in the 80s, and, uh, and we've had lot Lots of different members, eh? And uh, it's been a lot. A lot of the times it was, it was uh, no one wanted to book, give the exploited shows, or we, we never got any. For years and years, we never got any press. We never got nothing because because uh, we're too extreme, and I, I never, I never, I ne just like, I just never compromise. It's like it's like if I, it's like I never, I never do things to, to I never do things to. Uh, like I don't, I won't, I won't be nice to people for the sake of it. I mean, like record companies or the press. I just, I just, what, what you see is what, is what we are. And uh, a lot, a lot of these years, it was a real struggle. But the, the only thing that kept us going was, uh, was the, our people that followed the band. They came to the shows. That's because it's, it's hard to, it's hard to go for 25 years. It's hard to go for all these years, and uh, we still keep going. We still have the same belief. Uh, what year did you start? We started in 1980. Like, like and just, uh, how many records uh, have you uh, recorded? Uh, Fucking. <laughs> we're good. We've done uh, well, official official records. We've done uh, Punks Not Dead, Trips, uh, Live on Stage. That was a bootleg. Bastards. Uh, Horror Apex, The Massacre, Death Before Dishonor. Ooh, there's only two more. <laughs> uh, and, uh, beat the bastards and fuck the system, and and uh, and there's about another twenty albums with just bootlegs and fucking shit cunts, wanking bastards. Great albums, but uh, what are we going to hear uh, tonight? Tonight, exploited. Yeah, uh, from I the, the early days. Or? The early days. No, it's like we, we, we it's like we've got we've got that many songs and. And it's like, uh, and we, we play like we play like uh, ha ha half half our, half our older stuff, and we play like half our new stuff. But uh, a, a lot of a lot of punk bands, uh, well, like a lot of British punk bands, it's like pe people go to see them, but they only want to hear their old stuff because all their new stuff shit, <laughs> right? And that's but the difference with exploited is like these we always spend like five years, and we always take our time, and we don't we don't record anything unless it's 100 percent fucking the best it can be and that's and so we now we, now we get a lot of young young kids before in the past it was guys our own age and all we've done is fight all we've done is like really fight get drunk and fucking look to pay us not we'll smash a club and that, that's what happened for years and years and years and years and so it still goes on so, but, but now we get but then it was okay because it was guys our own age guys our own size but but now we get a lot we got young kids, like we got people like in the forties. We got young kids, fourteen, ten, or well, something in America, the ten. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and it's like, but those. So if I see anybody fighting, if I see like, big guys like picking, like hitting young kids, eh, then then we stop playing, and we just like fucking, we we we'll pick on them. What year uh, did you know uh, the new fans? Uh is it a new punk area now? No, it's, a, it's, a total, it's a new generation. It's, like a, it's, a, new, it's a new decade. It's like 10 years. It's like, it's like, like, like when we started, like, like punk, punk for me is a, is a, it's not a fashion, it's a way of life. Eh? It's like what, what, what I believe in. 
it's, 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 it's what I'm, how, how I'm here, it's what I'm like when I go home. Apart from you, I just sleep and fucking watch porn and stuff. Because <laughs> my girlfriend's in jail. It's a cunt. <laughs> Do you like it here in Norway? It's, it's not what, what, I, what I think. It's, for me, people ask us, what's that place like? What's this place like? It's not, it's not really the place, it's what you experience. It's like if you meet, if you meet people and, you, and you, good people and you have a good time, that's what, that's, what, that's, what makes it, that's what makes it good. But if you go somewhere and you get fucking and you fights with cunts and you steal your stuff and shit, then, that, then you think that place is shit. I mean, that, that's what it's like, eh? But, but so far, I so but so far, so far, uh, I've been I've been in Norway three times through Otter and the guys from Haggis, and they're fucking a bit they're okay guys. <laughs> first time in Norway. Tell like. <laughs> first time in Norway. What year? Oh fucking fu I, wanking bastards! Oslo wank. Yeah. Aye. Uh, Samsung wank. Well, what? Thanks very much. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Posy, you're a cunt. Come over here, fucking doing vocals for you. Tell us the fucking story about the balcony and the Sam 69 guy. Well, Sam 69, alright. Stop touching you, stop touching you. First year in Norway, you said back in the 80s or. Aye, what? Right, first year, right. When we started, it was like, oh, we're done. All we done was get like drunk and fight, blah, 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 right? But no, like, no, like, bullying. It's just like, they got, like, it's just like, punks fighting, punks, they're just getting drunk and. One, one of your friends fights, so you all fight it. And, uh, anyway, uh, we, we, had, we had some gigs in, or to come to Sweden and Norway. And for us, because we like, we, like, we were just like a, for us, we were, we were just like fucking a tiny wee band. So, I, 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 it's like, I never, I never really think you, it's only now and again that I think they exploited our big, like, like, I've done something. But in the past, I never, I never used to, you're a fucking legend. I, I know, but, but I know, but like, but. You didn't uh, expect uh, this to happen, though. No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's like I know people like people like uh, the, old, the old punks that, like, that I meet and see still over, over these years. And for me, like, they 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 believe in what they believe what they do is a way of life. And it's like myself, and I, and I respect these people because if it wasn't for these people, they wouldn't be any exploited. Ah. I mean, that's that's the way I mean. It's, it's like for me, it's like in the for like. We've been going like 20, 26 years now almost, and like for the first 20, 20 years, no, first 19 years, we never got, all we, all we ever got in the press was like fucking exploit the shit and blah, blah, blah. But, but that doesn't, that never bothers me because I don't care what people say about me. Can we exploit the shit? It's okay. I never paid to get in, fuck off. <laughs> You've been through to that. I, 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 that's it. And so, so now, when people come to the shows, like a lot, the, a lot of the punks at the 30s come to the show. And they say like, uh, thanks, you, you, like you're a part of my, my life. For me, that, that makes me f feel like, so good because it, it makes it makes it makes it worthwhile. Yeah. Because for like people now, people think it's probably the big major massive band and blah blah. But a lot of the times, it's fucking it's been totally really hard work and totally like it's like you've got it's just fucking every, every where we've got now, we've only got here because it's because we actually I believe in what I do. I don't, I don't give a shit about what people think. Uh, but, well, sorry, I'm getting back to Oslo. Yeah, yeah but uh, uh, you struggled uh, with the band. Uh, 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 what? No, 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 play, no, just like, just like, just, just, uh, just, to, just to survive. Just to, just, just to keep. Was you, uh, were you ch fucking extreme in the startup uh, for people? No, was it not so much, aye, aye. Was it so much like, aye, what, aye. <laughs> it it wasn't so much extreme political, it was just like, we were just like, uh, just, we were just too crazy, we were just, we were just too crazy, people thought we were Nazis, because they were, I, used, I used to go to uh, rock against racism, racism gigs, with uh, swastika armbands, because that was punk rocky, yeah. I mean, but it's like, and what the fuck, and it's like, it's like, I think that's never get a fucking, if something to say, come and say it, and just like, fucking punch you in the face, <laughs> and then we, we went to Norway, right, we didn't, went to Oslo, and we were really looking forward to going, because, oh, I've got you on Norway, hey, fucking. So we drove for hours and hours to, to get there. We were there 40 minutes. So we got, got, so we, we got there, we got on stage. And uh, the first song, the stage was like, for the, for the wall the wall table here was the size of the stage. And each, each side of the stage was like, uh, like loads of lights, so 
when you started playing, you couldn't see anything for the lights. But somebody, someone kept trying, trying to punch me in the balls. Kept, 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 oh, right, but, but but because we, it was the first time we'd been there, uh, and I thought maybe it's just like maybe it was just excited to let, let it go. So they, so I ignored that. So so the second song, they still somebody somebody still kept like fucking like. So I put my hand up to to, to see if I could see who it was, and, and I could see the I could see the person, but I could. I could see where the arm, but I couldn't see like what it was eh? So I got the mic and I just I just gave a, a wee tap, just just, just, like, just like that, just to see like fucking pack it in, right? But the kept doing it is so I'm like, fuck it. So I got, picked up a bottle and I smashed it over the head, and uh, there was uh, and all I seen was this big fountain of blood gushing through the air, right? It was it looked good with the white lights and bright, oh, yeah, fuck <laughs> right? The next minute, this big fat girl. The side of the stage picked up a mic stand, and she went to hit me. So I kicked her in the stu- I went and kicked her in the stomach, and somebody punched me in the face, and I tripped over the. The, the next one was fucking big, fighting every cut, eh? So uh, everything got destroyed, and uh, there was like knives. Knives were coming through the door. It was like, what the fuck? And so anyway, eventually the police come, just like the Calvary, but a day late. <laughs> and uh, so, so we. So when everybody went away, we went back to the hotel, which was uh, about 15, 15 metres. And when we got back there, the, the, the night watchman was an old, an old man, about 60-something. 60, 60 and, and the crowd of people that were attacking us, they went to the hotel. And, and because, because he, the, old, the old man wouldn't say what, what room the exploited were, they, they broke his nose and beat him up. I've got, it's in the, I've got, I've got, the, I've got the magazine. I've got the pictures, and they beat him up. It was, in the, and it was a little man with black eyes. They put him in hospital. So, so I was fucking so annoyed. I was really angry that we travelled for ten hours to to get to come to Norway just to end up fighting after two songs. So what we done? We had fucking went to the hotel. We sh- shat in the beds, pissed in the back of the TVs, smashed it to bits, and we fucked off. Uh, and, and I found I found out uh, about a year later that, like what it was. It was uh, I done I done an interview with uh, some magazine, and I said uh, somebody said what what uh, what uh, what's good about being in a band? I went well, uh, I went well. You get to travel, get drunk. No, no. Why are you in a band? I went fuck. You get drunk, loads of drugs, and fuck loads of girls. And and what it was, it was uh, all these feminists took offence that, uh, that I said. I'm only in a band to fuck, travel the world and fuck girls, and they took offence, and and, it, and that's what that's what that's what it was about, eh? But the girls and the girls were like, "You're ugly as fuck anyway." <laughs> Fucking cunts. That that's what. That, but the last the last <laughs> the last time we went back uh, was three years ago, and uh, we went back with Haggis, and uh, there's a and the people had, had been uh, boycotting the gig. Cause they still remember, eh? That was twenty years ago. Mm. Eh? And the boy caught in the gig and that, and uh, and the, and someone said that uh, the girl's brother was like maybe like a psycho, like like a total psychopath, and he's come to the show to stab to stab me. Uh-huh. But I've been still waiting. He's still where the fuck are you? Been waiting fucking two years now. <laughs> fucking tit. Uh, <laughs> Mongo. Yeah, this sounds like uh, it's a small punk. Uh... But but that was normal. But that that was. To other, to maybe to other bands, that's a big thing. But to us, that, that, that was really normal, because we'd like so, like we, us people, <laughs> people make a big thing of it. But but that was normal for us. We used to, <laughs> because when we started for the first two years, it's like we had a we had a big a, a really big local following, but like oh. forty six hundred. Uh. Turn that rubbish down. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we, had, we, had a, we used to have like a lot of skins and punks, like we see like four, six hundred punks. Skinheads used to follow us, but but because and back punk punk was meant to be dead back then, because eh? because we because like it was like uh, punk all the punk like six pistols and stuff they, that that died and uh, you got like new romantic and that was cause, right and so but but for like people like myself, punk was a was a voice and. And so, like we, we were, we were too extreme because we were too. Like, we'd go, we'd go, we'd, like we'd go and hire a hotel 
then we'd, we'd, we'd get two two coaches from the people, we'd go to the hotel, and then end up, end up fighting with somebody, they end up fighting, and then we'd all fight and smash it up. And, and that was, we'd done that for like two, three years, before we, before we, anyone would give us a gig. The first the first concert was YMCA. It was fucking shit. There'd be a band all over oh, in the hotel. But band, we band like most of the places. We done like oh, I could tell you, I could tell you loads of sto- yeah. loads loads of stories. But the difference between the other people and and and, the, and myself, it's like every everything I, I tell everything I, I tell anyone, it's always one hundred percent true. And it's like I don't I don't I hate, I hate the most. The thing I hate in life is liars. I hate people that lie. Fucking, I, I, I respect that someone's got something to say. I respect it if they come and just say, just say it. I respect that, but like, I hate, I hate fucking liars. Uh, and is that, uh, is that uh, reflecting in the lyrics uh, of your... Some of, the, some of the songs. Like my ex-girlfriend, lying little cunt. The, I, I just hate lies. lies the, the con girl in jail. Oh no, no she's my new girlfriend. Wow. No, Cindy, no, she's in jail. Uh, she's, she's American. Uh, <laughs> Are you living in America now? Or no, I've never, no, no. No, 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 no. Scotland, come on. Yeah, yeah, me in Scotland. I'm glad to be here in Denmark. Sorry. It's uh, always really nice here in Denmark. Sorry. Exactly. You get my point. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, going to tour a lot. Or? Last, last year we've done the. We've done the. The most the most gigs we've ever done. We done we done six and a, six and a half weeks in America. Then we done a come back home for four six and a half weeks in America. Come back home for four days. Then we come done a European tour. Uh, seven weeks, forty nine shows. So we have done almost eighty shows in three months, three and a half months. Wow. That's, that's the most, and that's the most ever. Because n- normally a tour for us was like two shows. <laughs> This is a this is a new uh, punk scene area. It's, it's, what what it's, it's like we we uh, I think we exploit this like every, everything I do is uh, I never I never change what, what, what always be a punk band always like always be but the last two albums that we've done like uh, it took we spent a fortune well spent a fortune in the recording studios for. A couple of years, eh? And uh, and we don't, I don't, we we'll never see any money from the records, but but I, I don't care because for me, I give it money doing gigs, and for me, like, uh, for me, it's like when pe- people appreciate, like, like if somebody writes and say like the last album was really good, like it's the best I've done. For me, that's I feel it makes it worthwhile because someone appreciates about the time and effort I put in. It's like uh, the last album we done, we could have done. We wrote sixty songs, sixty songs for the album, and uh, and we could have, if we wanted, if we wanted to do it for money, we could do, because we've done made five albums. Yeah. But but I'll, but that, but I would never do that. Eh? I know other punk bands do it, but I would never do it. How much did you spend on your last album? Oh, uh, over hundred and one, hundred and one thousand pounds. And but with a with a budget of twenty thousand pounds, right? And the record company went and had that got a. Brought all these press people over to, to the studios to, for, for, the, for, for the album getting released, and a year later they were still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man! You cunt. Okay, you want to do some singing again? Again. How many uh, albums? I'm being exploited again. Uh, Haggis won't leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, uh, I'm Watty and uh, I'm at Stavanger Punk Festival. Fuck what you, what was, it, strand, was it called? I can't remember. Was it strand? Stavanger. 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 And you are watching Craft TV. Okay. All right. And I'm gay. Stavanger. 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 Hi, I'm, I'm What If We're Exploited and you're what? Oh, shut up. Uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right. I'm What If From Exploited and uh, I'm in Stavanger uh, Punk Festival and you're watching Crap TV. But some person's crap is other people's greatness. What? <laughs> <laughs>